Hey guys, welcome to my channel Omega Electronics. In this video, I will make a smart security camera. For this project, I am using a Node MCU and Python and Telegram. The PIR sensor detects the motion and sends its binary data to the Node MCU, and the Node MCU sends its data to the computer with the USB. Then Python receives this data. If the data is one, that means high signal. Then it will capture the photo from the webcam and send a text message along with it uh, to the Telegram. Let's see how I made this project. Stay tuned till end. Hey, hello friends, welcome to my channel Omega Electronics. Here is the program of data center that is program of Node MCU. So uh, at first here is PIR uh, variable uh, which will store the GPIO 12 number which is D6 pin in Node MCU. Then a variable data which will store the binary data written from this PIR pin. Then here I am starting the serial communication with this uh, 1 uh, lakh 15,200. Uh, this is the same speed through which the data will communicate between Arduino uh, and uh, the computer. We have to set this same baud rate in the program of Python also. Then pin mode PIR input as we want to get uh, the digital data. So here as uh, input format. Then in the void loop, uh, the, this data variable will store the binary data uh, written from this PIR pin. Then uh, I am display, uh, displaying this data in my serial monitor. So then a delay of 500 millisecond. Yeah, hello guys, here's the program of uh, Python. So in this program, you will uh, need to install some uh, libraries in your system. That is uh, uh, computer vision and date time. Uh, did, uh, this library is installed uh, default. And this time uh, library is also uh, installed in your system by default then you have to install this uh, telegram library in your system so you have to write pip install uh, telegram python in your command prompt or in terminal then import serial this serial uh, module yeah, this also you have to install that pip install py serial uh, from this uh, telegram module we will send uh, messages and uh, photos uh, from python this py serial from this module we will uh, communicate with the uh, node mcu through usb then this cv2 this uh, this uh, library is uh, in this video i'm using for uh, just capturing the photo and uh, send it to through the telegram then this telegram uh, bot token and chat id if you want to get uh, these two datas of your bot then uh, you can go to the link in description from there you can get all the information about it so here is a function that send telegram so then bot equals so we will see it uh, later on let's see this then here port is equal to com7 this is the port number in which your node mcu is connected you can easily get it uh, by going to your device manager then here is baud rate is 1,15,200 as i have told you later that this 1,15,200 is the same uh, speed which i have written in this arduino command so that's all then port equals serial dot serial then port number that is your com port 12 and then here bought it that is the speed through which it will communicate with the pc that is then after that here cv2 dot video capture method so from this uh, method we can uh, capture the videos from a folder or from the webcam this is zero is the address of the webcam of this pc then an infinite loop as while true then a variable frame equals cap dot uh, read then this read so it will uh, read every frame of the video as video is the collection of frames then a original frame variable which is the copy of this frame then a variable line which will read the data which are coming from the usb where Mm, our node mcu is connected so it is sending the data of the pir pin so i will read this and if line if the data are coming then a string variable will store the decoded uh, value it means it will convert the byte string into a unicode string then this unicode string is then converted into an integer then here some conditional statements are used that if num equals sequence equals one that means is if the data is coming from the node mcu is one then here time dot sleep so it will sleep for 0 0.1 sec uh, 0 0.5 seconds then after that here this time stamp from this time stamp i will get my current date day and time so 
then a file name so we want to generate a photo so we have to set its file name unique so the first is bugler this is uh, uh, same in all the file but this timestamp that's every time is different from other so this will so every picture name is also different from other then after that here cv2 dot i am right from this i am right uh, method uh, we are saving this image in our system or any specified folder so it will take uh, two parameter so first is the file name so the name of the file which is this and the original frame uh, means uh, the photo capture then photo photo path equals photo file so this photo path variable will store this only of string bugler then after that here time dot sleep and that means three seconds then here function uh, say, uh, send telegram calls so let's go to this function so here is this function def send uh, telegram so a variable bot equals telegram dot bot then a token so you uh, you will get uh, the token when you will make your telegram bot from the bot father then after that bot dot send message from this send message method you can send the messages from python the, the telegram so then after that here you have to write the text which text you want to send so here i am sending intruder in room alert it will send this text message then from this uh, send photo method you can send any photo so here photo path the path of the photo that is uh, generated then uh, after that i will print photo clicked and send to telegram then after that else the print dot so if uh, one is not coming in the from node mcu then it will print 0000, zero, zero, zero. so here the full uh, full program completed <laughs> Thanks for watching.